something that's really lacking in the league is like well not lacking but uh, we're talking about wide receiver cores. Now who you now I looked at I looked at obviously looking at the Saints I think the Saints have the best wide receiver core. I agree. Corps. But looking at Green Bay's, they got a pretty damn good wide receiver core too. Cause you got Jordan, you got Greg Jennings, yeah. Donald Driver, yeah. James Jones. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean they got a good and the boy Kyle and Kyle Fritz. But I'm like this. I'm like this. They that is. There used to be wide receiver cores back in the nineties. Right, right. All right. Right. The right. Bills had one. Um, uh, the, Redskins. I, the Redskins had Redskins. one. The Reds had the Redskins. I think at that time had the best wide yeah, receiver. Yeah, the Falcons cores. with uh, with Art I, Monk and um, no, no, not Art Monk. Uh, Andre Rise. Andre Rise and Michael Haynes. Yeah, and uh, you know, but you're starting to see. But then came the the Debo wide receivers, right. and I'm glad. They they that they got rid of the Debo wide receivers. Cores last longer. Yeah. Cores extend core a core will extend your career. You're seeing wide receiver cores come back. Saints have one. Giants have one. Green Bay yeah. has one. Yeah. Um and the list goes on New and England. on. New England has one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, New England, I would honestly say New England is the first team that has a tight end core. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's scary because yeah. you got Aaron Hernandez. He can line up with receiver. He can line up with running back, fullback, and tight end. Right. I mean, and wide receiver. I said wide receiver. Did you? I did. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So how can you game plan against that? A wide receiver core is probably the best thing that ever happened to these teams because a quarterback, okay, boom, he's not open. Okay, now you got to go. Now I can go here. Okay, he's not open. Now I can go here. You know, and you, it, it, it's impossible to game plan against. Possible it the is. game plan again. It is. It you is. know, so keep it going. I would like to see, and you know what I would like to see next? A running back call. They had, they used to have those back in the day, but the Giants had one, Ron Dane and, and Tiki Barber. Right. I don't know what happened with that. Oh, I don't know. The Saints have one, yeah. but it could be a lot better, mm -hmm. but we don't run consistent enough. Yeah, it's, you know, it turned into a passing league, so, right. you know, you got a bunch of. You got a bunch of your tight ends and right. wide receivers. Houston has a Houston has one. Yeah. And they have yeah. Yeah. phenomenal yeah. running back call. Yeah. So you know they do you see the running back calls coming back too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just glad that I'm glad I'm seeing that now because like that's the way the league needs to be. That's the best way to extend your career. Like if I was a receiver or a running back, look, I'm fine with you giving me the money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not me. I'm worried about more about winning games, and winning championships, than worrying about how fat my wallet is, or right. how many carries I get, or how many right. yards right. and touchdowns, right. and all that stuff. Right. You know what I'm saying? Give me somebody that can help me. I'm not worried about him taking my spot. I don't already, I already know established myself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But this guy, he's good. Let him get his carries. Let him earn his chops. He trying right. to make his money too. Right. You right. know. Right. So like I said, and then on on the end of the show, I want to talk about. Uh, these records you get, you got you got Arizona four and zero, mm -hmm. you got the Saints on four, mm -hmm. shocking, and you have Detroit one and three, you got the playoff team. You shocking. got the Pats is two and two, and Pats supposed to have the easiest schedule, you know. So I want to say that I I I, I want to say the Minnesota is three and one. Um, I want to say to the fans out there, don't drink the Kool Aid. Mm. Don't drink the Kool Aid. Yes, yeah, they're early in the season yeah. because if you remember a couple years ago, the Redskins. Was very good in the beginning of the season, yeah, and then they tailed off right at the end. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you have a lot of teams that start fast, but it all in the trend of the NFL right now is how you finish. Always look at the Giants last year. They ended off. They had a four game winning streak. Everybody with the four game losing streak, and everybody was writing them off. Yep. Everybody was writing all oh, the Giants are gonna do this. The Cowboys yep. gonna beat them, and they ran off. They were miraculous. Uh, you know, come back and they won the Super Bowl. So it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Right. So that's why I want people to see. And uh, like I said, you know, I'm congrats to all those teams that's doing good right now. Like I said, our team is at the is in the cellar right now. But like I said, we do we do the show in week 17, and you know we'll see where we at. Right. We'll the the right. biggest thing is consistency. You have to be consistent. You have to be good on a consistent basis. Right. You know, uh, I remember like a couple of people was having a uh, conversation about Tony Romo being an elite quarterback. Well, after Monday, Monday showing, yeah. after Monday showing, who would you rather, Cutler or, or, or Romo? See, that's the one thing that they were talking about. You know what? If I had a choice, I wouldn't pick none. I wouldn't pick none of them. 
one of them has a bad attitude. I mean, right. complete, but has a real sh bad attitude. Right. The other one has can't really. He, he he's average at best, mm -hmm. but he's more like Brett Favre back when Brett Favre led the league in interceptions. That's not good. That's not good at all. You know what I mean? And and it's not like he doesn't have the weapons. Okay, you can say, oh, but Des Bryant ran the wrong routes. Okay, well I remember uh, one year when we first got Jeremy Shockey. Jeremy Shockey ran the wrong right. You know what Drew Brees did when he ran off the field? Because Drew Brees threw a pick. Drew Brees grabbed him around the collar on the shoulder pad and yanked him down. You know how tall Jeremy Shockey is. He's 6'6". Six, six. <laughs> Drew Brees ain't number six feet. Mm -hmm. Drew Brees yanked him down. He told him, look, dude, get your act together. Run the what I tell you to run or you're going to be out of here. Right. And you see what happened. And you see what happened. Yeah. Super Bowl. Right. You know, right. Jeremy Shockey was back to his Pro Bowl form. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So... That's what I think. If Tony Romo wants to get better, his parts have to get better around him. But at the same time, he's got to be that leader right. and grab Des Bryant. Look, I don't give a shit. I don't care about you hitting your mom. Right. You on the football field, dude. We right. paid you all this money. Right. And I seen a lot of passes. I, I, I seen him Monday Night Game. There's a lot of passes he dropped. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A lot of passes dropped right this. You know what I'm saying? And and and, and that's you know any, people that know me, they know. I was I was a good receiver. And when I see that man, I see these boys making millions of dollars yes. to catch a ball. You you making millions of dollars to play a child's game. Yes. And you yes. dropping passes yes. right in your hand. I mean, I, yes. I, it's just it's just sad. It just it just makes my stomach hurt. Look at the level, but you, you got to question the level level of de dedication. Yeah. Look yeah. at the level of dedication. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, I I don't like to bring. Basketball and football, but I'll bring up by one of the greatest players of all time. I know I'm getting kind of long with the two. Uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan woke up four, five in the morning. Was at the was at the was at the gym shooting, shooting jumpers. Shooting jumpers. Mm -hmm. After the game was over, shooting jumpers. Right. Kobe Bryant, another one. Right. You know, shooting jumpers early in the morning out there shooting jumpers, perfecting your craft. Me, if it's me. You know, I play defense. I'll be out there learning receiver routes. Right. Yeah. I'll be running receiver routes because I want to get in the mind of the guy that I'm directly going against. Right. Right. Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice. Mm -hmm. You know what? Would, what? What would be worse? You going to be like you said on Dark Knight Rises? What was worse? Fighting a guy who knew your every move. Mm -hmm. That is the worst. That's worse than killing a man. That's worse than killing a man. That's that's you know, everything that's like humiliation, do. and I think that's what makes Darryl, that's what made Darrell Reeves so good. You know what I'm saying? He studied receiver routes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He knew their routes. That's why he knew where to be in order to be in the perfect spot to defend. Not necessarily the receiver, the ball, and that's what the Saints are having a problem with. They're so busy defending the receiver, they're not defending the ball. Right. Defend the ball, play the ball, not the receiver. Right. Play. The ball. That's what I did. That's my. That's the way I did it. That's the way my daddy did it. Right. And that's the way. That's the way it should be done. That's the way it should be done. Play, Play the, the ball, ball. Yeah. not the receiver. Right. The receiver is irrelevant because he's just like you trying to get the ball. Right. You play the ball. Right. But uh, that's our show. I know we kind of ran long, but that's our show. We had a lot to talk about. Yeah. It's been a busy week, but yeah. uh, like I said we we will definitely see you guys next week and uh, salutations and. Be, and be on the lookout for what I have to do for my bet. All right? You're going to love it. You're going to love it. All right. Peace out.